over packing and then getting to your dream destination, hating everything that you packed because baby, I get it, the struggle is so real. If you're ready to be done with all that mess, keep watching to learn. As I pack for six days in Bali, right? I'm going, going out out to Bali, Bali. So sit back, stop stressing as I share my secrets to always nail your travel style. Now I've already shared a little bit about what goes into my vacation planning as well as how I pack my beauty and my content creation stuff in my other video for packing for a cruise. I know it can feel overwhelming trying to narrow down what to bring, especially if you are traveling to a new place for the very first time. Having visited over a dozen different countries, including Spain, Greece, even Iceland, all with a carry-on, by the way, I've nailed down how to plan and pack like a pro when headed to a new destination. Because you really don't wanna lug around a bunch of clothes, plus things that you actually are not going to wear. So let's get into planning for a vacation, planning your outfit. As a Virgo, I'm definitely team, let's at least have some kind of itinerary, but let's be honest, Virgos always be having a full-blown itinerary down to the outfits as well. And honestly, the reason you're overpacking, the reason you end up hating half of what you have once you get to your destination is because you do not put any planning into what you're actually going to do. Not knowing what you're doing on your vacation, even in a vague sense, really makes it so difficult and stressful trying to figure out the right outfits to choose, the right pieces to pack, to look put together, and that you can maximize as well as mix and match while you're on your vacation. So my first secret is to plan, and don't just plan what you're going to do, also set a theme for the vacation itself and you can even include a color palette if you're really advanced and you want to really really get down to the nitty gritty how do you do this i personally swear by pinterest i love pinterest for getting all of my mood boards together so i love to make a board specifically for the trip to give me an idea of the types of things i might want to do as well as some of the photos i want to take especially as a content creator this is so important not only knowing where i'm going to go but looking at what has been done and toying around with the fits that I would want to do or the poses I might want to catch in these different destinations. Doing this is so important because it's going to give you a place to start and sometimes that's all you need to really get the ball rolling. So not only will you have a very vague outline of the things that you might want to do, but you can also get inspired by what other people have worn to these places as well. Truthfully though, you really want to nail down your exact itinerary as close as possible. I personally like to do that with the notes feature on my phone with whoever I'm traveling with to make sure that we know exactly what we're doing on each day and the places we plan to stop. Again, the more detail that you have in your itinerary, the easier it's going to make picking the right outfits for your trip. Now, the other reason you might be overpacking is because you don't even look at the weather. Honestly, this is something you should be triple checking don't assume that just because you're going on your dream vacation the dream destination and you even picked the prime time of the year to go it's the best time according to all the blogs that the weather is going to always be on your side mother nature be mother naturing she might throw you a curveball so don't just check the weather when you book i like to check the weather all the way up until the day before my trip to make sure that all the outfits i have planned still make sense and i'm not caught off guard and as you can see it's gonna be nothing but sunny and 80s in bali i'm so excited ready to get my tan back before it is winter here in the d as you saw on our itinerary we're gonna be landing late that very first night and heading straight to the hotel so the first day for me is just a simple airport outfit i actually if you missed it i have two videos on how to put airport outfits together all the tea all the tips all the tricks that you need to always look stylish at the airport no matter your personal style so make sure after this video you go ahead and check those out for the first day in bali we are up bright and early going to hang out with the elephants i always love to do something animal related on a vacation i am a big animal person that is definitely how i can spend hours scrolling on social media is looking at the cute animal videos so I'm really, really excited to go to an elephant sanctuary and hang out. Now I am gonna ruin some of the magic as you see my fits. I'm gonna go with a basic black swimsuit because it's going to be muddy, because I am going to bathe with the elephants. I don't want to put on anything that I'm afraid that's gonna get permanently dirty. That's something that as a person, even as an influencer and a content creator, I always keep in mind. I am definitely function over fashion 99% of the time, even when it comes to creating some of these really awesome photos. However, I do like to take calculated risks. So the first actual look that I'm gonna be wearing is something along these lines. I wanted to play with the idea of like a zebra walking along with the elephants to create a really fun, magical photo. However, what I will really be wearing as we bathe with the elephants and do all the fun stuff is this outfit. It's the same black swimsuit, but with just some really old DIY denim shorts that I've had for literally years and that is secret number three to stop yourself from overpacking is to be realistic with yourself unless you do what i do unless you're going to get paid there really isn't a reason to venture outside of what is your zone in terms of style and what you normally like to wear and what makes sense for the actual excursion if you're going somewhere with elephants 
and you're gonna be bathing them. You're gonna be in the sun. You're gonna get dirty. So there really is no reason to wear anything like my first outfit because baby, that just does not make sense for the average person. So thinking back to the inspiration you might've saved on your Pinterest board for the outfits you might wanna wear and the mood you're going for, please, please, please be realistic with yourself. There are very few things you need to do for the sake of a photo, if I'm truly honest. 99% of the time, and this is coming from an influencer content creator, people are not worried about the outfit, more so just the overall photo in these kinds of situations. So as long as you don't look like super crazy, a cute swimsuit standing next to the elephant, you're gonna get the awe factor that you're going for. You do not need to do anything extra beyond that. So please, please, please be realistic with yourself. If you're finding this video valuable, do me a quick favor, boop the like button. That is a free indicator to me that you want me to make more content like this. This is gonna help tons of people to stop overpacking, learn how to plan the right outfits, and always lay on their vacation. Our next adventure is a Bali highlights tour. We are packing a lot into this day and we did this intentionally. For me, it is from a content creation standpoint. Do not feel like this has to be your exact itinerary, but we are gonna be doing the Gates of Heaven at Lampuyang Temple. We are gonna be visiting the iconic Koi Pond at Kitraganga. Hopefully I'm saying that right. After that, we're gonna head over to Takun Sapung Waterfall because you have to at least see one waterfall in Bali and ending off with a jungle swing plus the Telalang rice fields, the iconic rice fields. I'm so excited because we have so many different things to do. And as a content creator, I did spring for my first ever photographer abroad and a drone. I'm going all out. So I actually have three different outfits I'm going to pack into this day. And that does not include the dinner outfit, which I will get to in a second because that I'm super excited about as well. For the gates of heaven, which fun fact, if you didn't know, it actually is not reflective like this at all. Most people actually hold up a mirror to get that effect. Just want you to know that now because I would hate for you to get out there and go, Okay, but what? There isn't a lake there? Because trust me, that surprise would have been real. For a lot of the temples, you actually do have to be covered, your arms and your legs. I decided to go with this beautiful captain from Lin Kojo. You have seen me wear this. I'm so excited. It's actually a matching set. I am packing the pants in case as well, but I thought this would be so fun, so flowy and so colorful to contrast against the gates of heaven and be a really awesome shot, not just for that, but for the koi pond as well, just some beautiful flowy color to really add dimension to the photos. Plus it's breezy, it's gonna be pushing 90 degrees. So I wanted something that was gonna be comfortable and breathable as well as aesthetically pleasing for the photos. Then for the waterfalls underneath, I actually have on the Ivy Park swimsuit. I plan to wear this, I love this swimsuit so much. It always, always gets the compliments and I feel like this will be a great contrast for the waterfalls as well because those are usually very dark backgrounds. You wanna actually go for brighter color swimsuits if you really wanna pop in your photos. It just makes all the difference. That I'm sneaking underneath the captain and that is my sneaky trick number four. Make sure that the layering pieces you are bringing are multifunctional. Don't think that you have to bring a separate layering piece for every single outfit. Try and find layering pieces that can be an outfit in themselves but then work as a layering piece or that can be layered with a lot of different things. So think captains, think scarves, and think like denim jackets. Those are great layering pieces that you can mix and match easily with a lot of your outfits and not have to pack a bunch of different outerwear. For Telalong and the rice fields, this place gets muddy. I wanna make sure that you know this in case that is news to you. So I have a backup outfit because while I do actually wanna do the Lin Kojo set here as well, I actually am gonna bring this backup outfit. I have the Andrea Iyama swimsuit paired with the Hanifa skirt because that's gonna bring me into my secret number five. Know ahead of time where you're going and pick an outfit that makes sense functionally, right? So I know that it's gonna be muddy there. You see that I actually do have on the water shoes in this example because I will be bringing those along. I do not want to get mud on any of my sandals. You don't need to ruin your clothes. So make sure that you are bringing pieces that make sense for what you're doing. Knowing that the rice fields do get muddy, that's the reason I actually am bringing the Hanifa skirt. It is shorter, so I won't have to worry about that dragging on the ground compared to the Lin Kojo set, but it's still gonna be fun and vibrant and pop with all of that green. You're gonna have that white, you're gonna have that orange, and it's gonna be so, so gorgeous. And then for the swing, I can actually throw the captain back on to get that really fun billowy effect that all the girlies love to get on the iconic swing photo. Then that same night, we got so lucky to score dinner at Room for Dessert, which was on Netflix's Chef's Table. Fun fact, a guilty pleasure of mine is watching cooking shows. I don't know why that's my guilty pleasure, but the Chef's Table was my ish. And I'm so excited because not only that, 
your girl has a serious sweet tooth all of my besties can tell you that the thing i love more than a night out dancing with my girls shaking it off letting loose is coming home and having one or two late night cookies so this beachy collection dress is what i plan to wear it's stunning it's got some fun color it's gonna be very vibrant i thought that would be so perfect considering that this is a finer dining experience since we packed two early mornings back to back we decided to give ourselves a slower morning plus i wanted to make sure if i didn't get any of the photos at the rice field that i wanted to that we would have time the next day to go back in case if i did just want to get a couple more photos for the content for the vibes however the only thing we really have planned for that next day is to hit fins do a day party hit a beach club and I really feel like a beach club, you don't have to overthink, right? A cute swimsuit, a cover-up is always going to be a safe option. I decided to do something very fun, very vibrant. I got this set from Micus. It is gorgeous. That velvet, that texture, which is definitely a huge part of the theme for this trip, is definitely leaning into texture, as you will see some of the other swimsuits I've packed, because baby, baby they are a moment. We also do plan to do dinner at Finn's as well. So I am planning to bring a backup outfit in case they do not want swimsuits in the dining area. So I have this matching set, which is also from Micah's. I just love it's giving beach vacation. It's giving elegant, but very minimal. And that's something that I love to keep in mind because a good matching set like this, you can easily mix and match on your vacation. The top you can wear with any of your shorts. And then you can also add a button up as a fun layer as well. The skirt also will pair really well as a cover up for your swimsuits. You can use your swimsuits as tops. That is my sneaky trick number six, is to lean into your swimwear as tops, especially if you're going on a tropical destination, because that you can easily mix and match as well, especially if you have fun neutral swimsuits. Those will go a long way for more colorful bottoms or colorful tops. So consider that as you're packing too, that you can mix and match your swimwear to be day wear as well. I'm always getting asked where I find my stunning vacation pieces. And if you find yourself wondering the same thing, then you should go ahead and follow me on my like to know it account. I share all kinds of in-app exclusive roundups that are found nowhere else, sharing items Items just like this best new ins for swimwear best new in for resort wear so you'll be able to be the first one to see those kinds of pieces and snag them for your next getaway destination there's a link for that in the description on the fourth day we are also having another chill kind of slow morning we're gonna check out the market as well as the, the Saraswati temple hopefully I'm saying that right taking our time to really kind of immerse ourselves in the culture this day because we are also headed to Uluwatu in the afternoon so a lot of exploring but very casual keeping in mind that it's gonna be 80 degrees this is the outfit I am thinking of. Wearing my swimsuit as a top, like mentioned earlier, with a breezy skirt. I haven't decided between the pretty little thing skirt or the H&M skirt, but I did want to show you these outfit combinations. And again, this is why choosing good swimsuits makes a big difference because I can easily wear the swimsuit to dip in the pool in the morning, throw on a skirt in the afternoon. It's going to be easy to wear and perfect for a really hot day walking around and taking in the site which really brings me into tip number six and that is to lean into your personal style a lot of the time you see a lot of the girlies wearing these really cute outfits and it may make you want to try something new there's nothing wrong with that however for a vacation that's really not the time you want to buy pieces you haven't tried out yet and i don't just mean tried on like i mean you've left the house in these pieces you've gotten a sense of how they fit how they wear and if you're going to be comfortable in them and this is the other reason you might be overpacking is you probably brought a lot of new pieces inspired by everything you saw on your board you didn't try them out let alone try them on which baby as you were saying there's a reason we are trying everything on and that brings me into tip number seven is you should be trying everything on but you also want to make sure not only that you have tried it on so it looks good you want to make sure you're trying it on so you know whether or not you're going to be comfortable in it because you should not be packing pieces you have not worn before because that is another reason you've overpacked and are now finding you don't like the clothes you brought with you on your vacation then for dinner that evening my friend and i are still sorting out exactly where we want to go i am planning to wear this easy breezy mesh dress from target yeah target who would have guessed that they would come with the sleigh like this and i can rewear this as a cover-up and a top later in the trip as well if that's what i want to do i hope the thing that you are actually picking up is that Versatile pieces don't just mean neutrals. Versatile pieces aren't just basic pieces. A lot of pieces can really be mixed, match, worn, and reworn as you are on vacation. So keep that in mind as you're buying pieces that it doesn't mean that it's only gotta be neutrals, it's only gotta be basics. Don't be afraid to reimagine the pieces that you own and find different ways to mix and match them while you are on vacation, especially for longer vacations to keep from overpacking. Day five, we are not sticking to the rivers and the lakes we are used to. We are chasing waterfalls yet again. I am very, very excited. This is very much the same philosophy for me as a day club, a beach club, a good swimsuit, a good cover up. You are set to go. I have this beautiful brown textured swimsuit off of Amazon. When I tell you 
babes especially my small chested girlies especially my girlies who don't have some big giddies these style of tops with the underwire so flattering it comes with padding as well you see it is giving cleavage even though girly cleavage wear and it was under 30 dollars. it comes in so many different colors you actually saw the cream one earlier again obsessed that texture it's chef's kiss then i'm layering it with a very easy crochet dress i'm not really worried about this like getting dirty it's breathable it's easy it's something i will easily be able to walk around in and still look cute but again here go with what makes sense for you if you are somebody who your legs chafe go ahead and put on some shorts find a cute matching set a cover-up situation that works best for you then after a day of chasing waterfalls we are actually going to a black and bali event this is the page that my friend and i found and they put on events each and every month so i'm really excited to link up with us i feel like that doesn't really happen very often for me on my vacations i'm excited that there was an event going on during the time we were there and that is my sneaky tip number eight is to actually lean into groups like this there are tons of travel groups for different places different countries whether you're a solo girl whether you are of color there are just all kinds of travel groups out there that you can tap into that are a good place to start if you're trying to figure out the right outfits to wear things to check out and things like that they're going to be a wealth of knowledge and you can tap into that too you don't just have to rely on like pinterest and instagram and tiktok you can talk to people that have actually been there are currently living there to give you some advice some tea on how to best dress for your destination our very last semi full day we actually do not have our flight until 9 p.m at night so we are not quite sure which direction we want to take it part of me is like let's try and squeeze in one last little excursion let's see something more let's see something else the other half of me is kind of like hey let's slow down and let's kind of do something mindful maybe we get up we do some yoga together we go to a spa and we just journal at the hotel until it's time for us to leave and really just kind of sit in each other's company before getting back to the hecticness of everyday life so i've not quite nailed down the last look for my trip however i'm sure it will come to me with all the pieces that i have i can easily pull something out to make that work now for my bonus packing essentials things that you probably forgot to pack things you probably weren't thinking to pack that you absolutely do need to pack and this isn't just fashion this is just like journal really quick i will make a full length video but i want to make sure to bring this to your attention especially if you're going somewhere tropical very very soon bring a poncho don't bring an umbrella bring a poncho thank me later when you are in tropical destinations it can rain at the drop of a hat and there's nothing worse than being caught unaware out in the rain especially in a really cute outfit pack a rain poncho thank me later also you should be packing sunscreen and bug spray these are not negotiable i don't care that black don't crack i don't care if you think there will not be insects at the destination you're going i promise you there's probably some kind of insect bring sunscreen bring bug spray again thank me later truly though the best tip the last tip that i can leave you with as you're packing for your destination as you're planning and you want to make sure you are nailing your sleighs don't take it so seriously nine times out of ten the other reason this process is so stressful and you are overpacking is you are overthinking and you're taking it way too seriously nine times out of ten a lot of the outfits you pack will probably look amazing and look exactly how you want them to look do not overthink this and again don't think that you have to have every single detail nailed down perfectly either. The goal of traveling is to enjoy the destination and is to have fun. So make sure that you are doing those things and focusing on those things first and foremost. The outfit should be the icing on the cake. However, if you feel like you did not get enough outfit inspiration, you need more vacation outfit inspiration and you loved what you saw here, then go ahead and check out my vacation outfits playlist. I have tons of vacation outfits for different destinations. Whether you're headed somewhere tropical, whether you're headed somewhere a little bit more cold weather, I have tons more tips, tons more tricks, and of course, a lot more outfit inspiration to help you not only get inspired, but truly take the stress out of getting packed for your destination. So go ahead and give those a watch now.